all across the United States, to be truthful. Manufacturers all across this nation are looking for a workforce. About 400,000 unfilled jobs in manufacturing today, and we forecast there's about 2 million that will go unfilled between now and 2025, and veterans would be a key way to help fill that gap. So I, um, seven days after I graduated, I went into the Army. I was stationed at Fort Bragg, North Carolina for three years. It was a, an airborne military police unit. When I got out, there was a smelter in the area had opened up a production um, opportunity. And so I um, started working in 1990, working on the pot lines on night shift as a pot line operator helper. Well, I think manufacturing is a good home for veterans and it's pretty much, Constantly in the military, you're being put in scenarios or situations in which you know, you're having to um, be able to problem solve and to be able to work through things and then, and then to actually make a decision. So getting into manufacturing, I do that every day. One thing too that I appreciate about Arconic is like the, the support that they give. You know, we've got these employee resource group meetings that we have with the veterans, and it's nice because we can have these conversations. You know, how do we help other veterans, and whether it's the homeless veterans or the VA, or for people that still do have some issues, is, you know, they, they're so supportive of getting help when you need it. And so I just think, I don't know why that's making me emotional. Today we head to Topeka, Kansas, where they have a, a forum going on that I'm participating in that is discussing about how to get veterans into manufacturing. So today we're having our first military to manufacturing forum at Washburn Institute of Technology, together with our partners at the Kansas Chamber of Commerce and Arconic to bring together the military community, the business community, and the educational community to talk about how we build better pathways for former military members into manufacturing careers. They, they've transitioned from one career to another and throughout the military. And so this agility allows them to, to perform in many ways, in many capacities for, for manufacturing. I think with my story, I really didn't realize like, the, the skills and the experiences and the lessons that I came out of the military with. I did not realize that that meant anything. We served our country, we had a purpose, and now we're looking for another venture and that another purpose is going to be going into manufacturing. They're trying to bring it back to America. What better way to have the people that served America being trained to serve America again, bring these companies back. Twenty-seven years later, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that is really why I am where I am today. It's important to share your story with other veterans because, it's especially with the ones that are just getting out and don't realize the impact that they can have or they can make on manufacturing. 